Submarino. Now you might not have heard about this yet if you're not from Denmark, but I really hope this thing makes it to as many countries in the world as humanly possible. It's directed by Thomas Winterberg, who many will know from the Dogma film Festen, which has since been remade on the stage, both here in the country and I think on Broadway. But I'm not a theater person, so I don't know. If you don't already know that one, I don't want to give anything away, so all I'll say is it's a patriarch's 60th birthday and one of his sons comes to the celebration with a secret to share. Vindabar also directed Dear Wendy, the supposedly anti-American drama written by Lars von Trier, which is probably why it's viewed as anti-American. And I suppose I sort of see why some people call it anti-American, about a group of young Americans who form a, a gun club. He has directed other films as well, but those are the only two I've seen. Now, this is a very sad, downright miserable film. If you view going to the movies as something you do purely for the sake of enjoyment, then this is not the film for you. If, however, you want social realism and a detailed, credible, and unflinching look at a low class of society and their environment and their problems, then you cannot miss this. Vindabad does nothing fancy with the camera here or the editing. It's all very low-key and purely to service the story. The look and feel created is very bleak and mundane, just as these characters' lives are. Now I want to make sure that no one confuses what I've just said for this film being, like, dull and ugly. It's not. This is an amazing film, and that goes for the technical aspect as well. If at any point you are looking away from the screen, it's almost certainly in helpless frustration that there are people like this out there with these kinds of problems, and, you know, that these are the solutions that they implement. The script is incredible. Every event, every detail, every line of dialogue, the dialects, the behavior, it all rings painfully true. I watched this film with my father, and he worked with people like this for 13 years total. We talked about the film, and there was nothing in it that he found to be unrealistic or inaccurate about the way they were presented. I really don't want to give too much of the plot away at all, so all I'm going to say is it's about two brothers their lives separate from one another, but both of them defined by something that happened in their childhood. The characters have our sympathies from the very beginning throughout the entire story, in spite of all we see them do. This film has amazing acting. Everybody. No exception. And yes, that does include the children. They play rather pivotal roles in this, and in all of their performances, I can come up with at the most one moment that is maybe not completely convincing and you can forgive it because everything that comes right before it and right after it are 100% convincing. I mean the kid who plays Martin, he certainly seems young. I would honestly guess 7 or 8, can't imagine he's more than 10. He has a lot to do and he accomplishes it beautifully. And trust me, I am relentless when it comes to judging child actors, because I honestly think that they usually suck. And that is, of course, partially because they simply don't have enough years to have, to have a lot of experience with acting. What bothers me is how often they're still featured, and we're just supposed to ignore that they can't act. And that isn't the case for a second here. Also. These are some of the most charming and sweet kids I've seen on film or TV. That's not something I usually notice or care about, but some of these are really, really sweet and natural. I mean, the baby? Be honest. Don't you think you can count on one hand the number of infants featured in movies or television that are genuinely cute? And this one really is. But yeah amazing acting, and I hardly knew anyone, if I did in fact know anyone, in the film. The casting was also spot on. 
it is a very distressing film and if you genuinely think that you can't handle it you may honestly want to err on the side of caution otherwise please go see it wherever you are whenever it comes to a theater near you beautiful film if this does not tug at your heartstrings I'd go to a doctor or see if you need them reattached or something. That was my spoiler-free review. See you next time.